I got bad news if you don't like ducks, because I'm playing DuckTales 2. I bet you all thought I was done with some DuckTales. I'm not. There are more treasures to find, people. We got to get to it. Yes, I want to go to Niagara Falls. Um, I didn't lie to you. I'm not going to say that I lied, but I may have misled you into believing that the original DuckTales was one of the, uh, one of the NES games that I grew up with, and it was not. I actually did not play that game until well after the NES's heyday. Probably probably didn't play it until I got really into emulation and stuff, but I did have DuckTales 2. That's where I got all of my pogo stick action. That's how I knew that the original game was so good, because the sequel was so good. In fact, the sequel's better, in my opinion. Um, but as you can see, they have not changed very much. It's The original DuckTales was good because it took a few simple ideas and executed them very well. And that's all DuckTales 2 does. They do add a few new moves to uh, Scrooge's move set. For example, he can now grab barrels and drag them around. Uh, that's pretty cool. He can still, of course, swing his cane like a golf club. And now he can also use them to grab hooks and rings and things in the background. So the range of action has increased a little bit. They also added kind of a little meta metagame in the shape of these map pieces. Each of the levels in the game has a map piece, and the goal is you need to find them all. So that points the way to the uh, hidden secret level, which you must then loot and make millions of dollars. So, that's one of the things I really enjoyed about this game as a kid, is that there's a lot to explore, a lot more than the original DuckTales, as it turns out, because you're not just trying to make it through the level, picking up as many diamonds as possible, you're also making sure you have explored your range of action, you have to uh, get all the pogo stick upgrades and know where to use them and solve little puzzles, and getting that bonus level is like doing a full clear. It is a much larger reward for being diligent in your explorations than, say, the uh, hidden launch pad bonus stage in the original DuckTales. And here is good old Gyro Duck, and he's going to give me a new pogo stick ability, which lets me do things with my pogo stick I could not do before. Well, it doesn't let me do new things, it lets me break new types of blocks. Like, now I can pogo stick onto blocks I would not have been able to break otherwise. Which I'm... why I'm backtracking. I'm gonna go up topside here, and I'm gonna bust up some blocks, and get some diamonds. Yeah, yeah. So what else is new in this game? Let me see here. Um, there's a shop at the end of every level, which you can go and buy little items. You'll notice that there's no longer ice cream and stuff laying around inside levels. No, now what you have to do is go to the shop and you can buy items to use. And you have this little screen here where it says select item. You can put things over there to use, such as a cake, which restores your health, or uh, like a safe, so when you die you don't lose your money. Which also, that's, that's also new, I think. Because in DuckTales 1, you did not lose any of your money when you died. Now, if you die, you lose all the money you had collected up to that point in the stage. So I really hope I don't die. Uh, I actually do would like to live forever as a the wealthiest duck on the planet, so that's going to be one of my little goals for this Let's Play, I think. So yeah, this is DuckTales 2, and it's a fantastic game. I'm told it's relatively rare for the NES, uh, which kind of baffles me, because I think I bought it at a pawn shop. I really do. Back in the day, let me tell you guys this, because this was a big part of my gaming career. Back in the day, we was we was too poor to ignore to uh, you know afford new games. It wasn't like we we went down to Target and bought us an NES game. It did not work like that in the Brick Road household. I mean, we would get new games for like birthdays, Christmases, things like that. But if we wanted to go buy a game because we were kids and kids don't have no money, we had to go to the pawn shop. And we had like six pawn shops in town, and they had a deal going where if you traded them two of your old games, they would give you a new one. So at any given time in our gaming career, we pretty pretty much only owned, like, maybe three NES games. And then every few months, we would go down and trade some out for new stuff. So... Yeah, I don't want to die here. This is a real easy place to die. Okay, good. The other week we would play games, we'd just go down to Blockbuster, because then you could play a game for $5 instead of $50, and then usually we just, you know... That would, like, a long weekend was more than enough time to get through a typical NES game, especially if you were rocking a Game Genie. If you were rocking a Game Genie, you could play any game in a weekend. It did not matter. Oh, I missed a diamond! Dag nabbit. Okay, I've got to hit this guy five times. And... 
little bit of trivia, and I think I may have mentioned this in one of my other Let's Plays, but I originally was considering DuckTales 2 for 150% speedrun a long time ago, like years ago. Um, because, like I said, it is a, one of my favorite old NES games from my childhood, and I do know it really well, but the refresh rate on the screen, like the bosses, they flicker. When you're playing at 150% speed, it makes them totally invisible. And you can't fight invisible bosses. <laughs> you just can't. I had that problem in Mega Man Powered Up. Ah, here's the shop. Usually I don't like spending money in the shop, but you can see you can buy good stuff. Like, it's good to have a cake on and at all times. The only thing I like to buy is the special energy, because unlike the original DuckTales where your bonus hit points are just laying around in the open, now you gotta buy them. So I'm gonna buy them. And now I'll have four hit points. And... We've got two pieces of the map, which means... We will pick it back up in the next episode of Let's Play DuckTales 2. Thanks for watching.